So this was December of last year, so about seven months ago. Um, I just got done with practice at Parkland, uh, just got done lifting. And so um, I came out, was getting ready to drive home and I started driving through the parking lot and then my, the back of my car starts making like a thudding noise. And so I get out, stop, check, and I have a flat tire. Well, this was one of those nights, it was like uh, below zero wind chill. So I'm like, I'm not dealing with this tonight. I'll just ride home to the apartments with one of my buddies and I'll come back and fix it in the morning. So that's what I did. Uh, I came back that next morning and went to put on the spare tire, got the tire out and all the tools ready and my spare is flat and has a hole in it. So hole in my spare, hole in my real tire. So I have to go to Walmart to buy a new tire. So I take the take the rim there, they put a new new tire on. I get it back to Parkland, get the new tire on, and um, I feel like I am think I'm good to go. So um, everything's fine those next couple days. That weekend, I was leaving town to go to a wedding. Um, and so that Friday night, I left practice and got about 30, 45 minutes down the road and that same thudding noise starts coming. So I pull off the side of the interstate, check it, and I have another flat tire. And so it's the same tire that is brand new, just got put on. And so I'm like, well, I'm not going anywhere else tonight because it's already 10 o'clock and I have a flat tire again with no spare. So I call World Roadside Assistance, see if they can come tow me or pick me up. Well, they have nobody in the area, so I call some of my Parkland buddies uh, to come pick me up, and they have to drive about 45 minutes down the road just to come pick me up and get me back to the apartment. So um, that next day, I get it towed back to the same Walmart, and... Um, when I meet the tow guy there, he's like, I like, I can tell this is a new tire. It looks like they didn't put a new valve stem on, which whenever you get a new tire, the, the maintenance people are always supposed to put on a new valve stem with on the rim. Um, and the people at Walmart did not do that. So when I take the tire in to try to get a new one for free, they're telling me that, um, that I, drove on a flat tire and that's why it popped not because their the valve stem had a leak in it because they didn't put a new one on and so i'm like well i just bought this tire from you guys two days ago like you need to give me a new one because this is your guys's fault and they're like okay um we'll check the system to try to find your record of you buying this tire so they check it for 20 30 minutes and they can't even find a record of me buying the new tire that i just bought two days ago so they don't give me a new tire even though they it was their fault that it was flat and popped in the first place um they don't they don't um take responsibility for not putting a new valve stem on it and i did not even get to make it to the wedding because i didn't that next day um i missed it because i had to tow my car back to walmart so Moral of the story is, if you have car troubles, don't take your car to Walmart. 